You know how to st start this thing? I'll figure it out. Oh, jeez. can't be that hard. You just wiggle butts, push levers until something goes. Hey, don't forget to like the video and subscribe. Thanks. Morning, everyone. We got something new. That's not it. That's actually going away. The uh, the new piece of equipment is actually replacing that. And probably by the, I'm sure you've read the title or looked at the pictures on the uh, thumbnail of the video. So I'm sure you can figure out that we bought a skid steer. This is it right here. So ironically enough, I went to go pick that up and then on the way back, it was about a four hour drive. Menards called and said, hey, your metal's here. I was like, uh-oh. I was like, it might fit. Let me let me see. <laughs> Needless to say, it did fit. Mainly because I didn't want to come back here, turn around, go back an hour, come back an hour. Um, and we were heavy. So let's uh let's go ahead and get this bad girl on un, uh unstrapped and get her off the trailer. This chain is like 80 feet long. I got it for free, so I couldn't complain. And originally I was like, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this chain, I'm gonna make a bunch of little chains with it. Well, as you can see, I didn't. And now, I really don't think I will. Just because it's convenient to have one chain. quick walk around no it is not the prettiest it is ugly it is yeah it, it's not pretty anyways it runs excellent though. runs excellent no leaks the uh the back door actually was all caved in and bumped in and everything else and it made it to where it wouldn't latch at all so we got this one off of a uh burnt one to throw on so that's why that looks like that. However, she's, uh, yeah, she don't look bad. Good size or good engine, 75 or 74 horsepower, good battery. Um, like I said, everything is, everything's pretty good. Um, they did have a leak. It was fixed before I bought it. So I'm terribly worried about that. Obviously there's a lot of rust. However, everything is not rusted through. And if you saw our video a little while back, I know a secret of how to take care of rust. So we'll end up spraying this all down with WD-40 and uh, we'll get that rust taken care of. But auxiliary, uh, auxiliary hydraulics, high flow, variable flow, all that good stuff um, has a thousand hours on it. And while yes, I agree, it doesn't appear that it would, the uh you can call bobcat and you can get the number off the back of these panels and you can confirm with them if this is the original panel or not and the other thing is is that the hydraulics are tight like right there i'm already getting pressure right here i mean there's no play almost 
foot pedals same thing i mean it's they're tight um yeah so obviously you're gonna see this hanging around a lot but right now i gotta get ready the uh gentleman that's coming to look at our tractor the alice 5020 he's interested in buying it um he should be here in a little bit so i want to get this sprayed down with wd-40 so that i can still use it later We've sprayed it down with WD-40 and everything, right? And we've looked around for a, a skid steer for a while. Now, I wasn't only looking for bobcats, I was looking at cats, case, even John Deere, um, kind of any of them, because none of them are actually made in the United States. Well, none of them are made in the United States. So like this one is made in the USA, but it's really assembled in the USA. Anyway, looked at all of them. Um, we saw one on Purple Wave and we were bidding on it and I was willing to go to 8,500 on it. And at 8,500, I still had to put about a thousand dollars into it because it needed a gateway controller because it had the electronic controls. So everything was, you could operate by hand or foot, whereas this one is foot only. So, well, I mean, you got the hands to go forward and backwards, but the other one, you could do the, the bucket and the boom and everything with your hands if you wanted. Anyways, um, it had 1800 hours on it. it. Looked way worse as far as rust. I mean, everything was rusted on it. There was not really hardly any paint left. Um, anyways, that one ended up selling for 16,000 and it still needed that gateway controller. And now it did have an enclosed cab, had heat and AC. And I get that, that's a desirable feature. But when I can't see how well or if this machine even runs or operates um, it really makes it hard for me to buy it so we did not go much much above we went to the 8500 mark and that was it and then i just watched to see where it went anyway I stumbled across this one on facebook marketplace um, a couple hours away from us and went to check it out looked good ran good started good um, controls and everything were tight got some information off of it and uh called bobcat to confirm hours and stuff like that you can confirm it with there's numbers on the back of this hour meter you get that and then you can uh, call them and use your serial number to confirm whether or not that's the original hour meter um, I guess what I'm saying is, is that if you're gonna go don't just buy the first one you, you look at go and look around um, and make sure that you're looking for leaks so like this one did have a leak it did have a big leak actually and I don't know how well you can see up there there's a lot of hydraulic oil that's still trapped in there from the dirt, can't drain out. And uh, anyways, the folks that were selling it, they were able to, to give me the information to show me that the stuff was replaced. Plus the other thing is, is right here I can see how clear and, and good looking that hydraulic fluid is in the site level glass. So yet again, confirming their stories. Um, tires are foam filled, just everything we want and it's got this the concrete tires which is perfect for us because majority of the time we'll use it in the livestock barn um, not to say that it won't get used somewhere around the farm driving fence posts or something like that but it's uh yeah it, it has a lot of things going for it in our case and the rust i really don't care how ugly it is at the end of the day if the sheep don't like it because it's ugly and they don't want to crap on the floor because they don't want it picked up by this then fine they can live outside there's no need for me to have a pretty beautiful machine because it's likely going to get scratched up or dinged up here. So this one came pre-dinged and saved me the headache of, or the heartache of being like, oh man, I scratched it or whatever. So we're going to let all that WD-40 set, let this thing get cleaned up. And uh, you guys will see it around the farm a lot. Um, if you have any questions about it, put them down in the comments. But it's, uh, I'm looking forward to it. Not that the... This little tractor was a good tractor, this little 5020. Excellent tractor, actually. And, uh, you know, I, I don't want to sell it. But on the other hand, I do want to sell it. And the biggest reason we want to sell it is because the only other thing that this, <clears throat> the only other job we had for this thing on this farm is pulling the hay rake. Well, we bought a bigger hay rake. Um, and you guys will see it 
here come hay season. But anyways, it's a 11 wheel hay rake and we had an eight wheel before and the eight wheel, it pulled it fine, but sometimes you had to drive in four wheel drive. So my guess is that I'm gonna have to drive in four wheel drive all the time with an 11 wheel rake. And I just don't wanna do that. Um, it, it's probably a little too small for that. So we are gonna sell that and we're gonna find a Alice Chalmers, I don't know, 170 through 190 XT or something of that nature, maybe even a D17. You know how to start, start this thing? I'll figure it out. Oh geez. It can't be that hard. You just wiggle butts, push levers until something goes. So. What kind of hoop do we got going key. on here? Turn it on. You get it like started, like cranking. So you just like turn it on. Yeah. There's a difference well, between cranking. Does it say glow anymore? This one? Yeah. Yeah. All right, let it wait until it counts down and then start it. Does it turn off when it's counting down? It'll count down to like zero. There's it's, no number, there's right. just a light. Okay, go. The arm part down. Look at that concentration, ladies and gentlemen. Do I have lights? I have lights. So now you gotta press the operate button. up a little bit. Use the sticks to go backwards like the zero turn. What's behind me? Nothing. How far back? Spin around. Turn. Yep. She's no pro like Gabe. Do you think mommy's driving the skid steer better than you? What? Do you think she's doing better than you? You loaded stuff on the truck. You want to go over there and pick us up from the barn? Yeah. I'll meet you over there. I'm going to grab the tractor. They go faster. It's not a race car. Yeah, it does. You got to rev it up. Oh, that is right. See, that's the key to making sure your wife's not hot rodding around. You don't show her where the throttle's at. What are you got to put down? Well, yeah, it'd be convenient. Who's going to sit there and try to jump over I that? I didn't video? jump. I just climbed in the bumpy hill. Oh, Thank you. Do you think we should have shown her where the throttle was? Do you think we should? I think we should be. Should be hot rodding around. <laughs> 